you see monstrous communist dictators actually don't really kill people. They have their state police kill and torture people. When I tell you the corruption within the FBI and DOJ is the most dangerous thing happening in the United States of America, I'm not trying to be over the top. I'm trying to make you understand exactly what the stakes are. If the federal law enforcement arm with the power to destroy your life is now a weaponized arm of the Democratic Party and completely weaponized against the people of the United States of America. That is how genocides begin. That's how you end up getting dropped off at an island to eat your neighbor. That's how it all begins. Where are we now? Well, you know about FBI malfeasance. Well, at least you know most of it, some of it probably don't even know most of it. You know about the FBI intentionally falsifying evidence to try to stop Donald Trump from being elected. They did this under President Barack Obama, by the way. We have text message verification that Obama was in on the whole thing, knew about the whole thing. We have people at the FBI testifying it was to take down Trump. We were trying to take down Trump. We know that. We know the FBI planned, funded, and coordinated a kidnapping and assassination attempt on Democrat Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer so they could make the right out to be a bunch of homicidal lunatics. We know that. These, these are things we know so far. We know the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the counterterrorism heads, met to decide which terrorist threat label they should assign to parents who get loud at school board meetings. Oh, we know. We know. But wait. As the old saying goes, there's more. We have whistleblowers. We now, to their credit, and I want to make sure we praise these people as the heroes we need right now, whistleblowers from within the Federal Bureau of Investigation. They're reporting to Senator Chuck Grassley. What's in it? Whew. Quote, my office has received a significant number of protected communications from highly credible whistleblowers. The information provided to my office involves concerns about the FBI's receipt and use of derogatory information relating to Hunter Biden and the FBI's false portrayal of acquired evidence as disinformation. The volume and consistency of these allegations substantiate credibility and necessitate the letter. What are they talking about here? We're talking about the lead up to the 2020 election, the one that eventually saw Joe Biden elected. The Federal Bureau of Investigation came into possession of mountains of, not hearsay, not a phone call, verifiable evidence, text messages, emails showing Hunter Biden is as dirty as a one-week-old jockstrap. We're, we're talking about way more than ladies of the night and some crack cocaine here. Illegal foreign involvement, illegal foreign involvement to the level he's going to have to register as a foreign agent, investment, communist China, Russia, Ukraine, you name it, dirty business. Hunter Biden is involved in it. The Federal Bureau of Investigation takes possession of this of this evidence and you know what they promptly do with it they promptly cover it up on behalf of the Democratic Party they labeled it disinformation without any justification of doing so they not only labeled it disinformation the guy the case officer the agent in charge of it closed it and sealed it so it could not be reopened. So let me just recap that again for people in the back. In just the past five years alone, the Federal Bureau of Investigation has, on behalf of the Democrats, falsified, knowingly falsified information and took that information to the FISA court to justify spying not only on a private citizen, Donald Trump at the time, but on the political opponent of the then president of the United States of America. They then plotted in the kidnapping and assassination of a Democrat governor so they could frame everyone on the right. We're not even going to go into everything they did on January 6th with all of them in the crowd instigating that whole thing. Again, justifying some sort of purge on the right. They also got involved in the 2020 presidential election to make sure Joe Biden and Joe Biden's family continues to exist. And now I need you to tell me, why does the FBI still exist? And I, I want to, again, I, I want to reemphasize this. Why does the FBI still exist? 
when you have the federal law enforcement arm, something, something with that much power, the power to destroy your life, this morning, if they wake up, if they woke up this morning and they decided to set their sights on you and take you down, they could do it. They could ruin your life. Oh, maybe they wouldn't get a conviction in court in the end. They could ruin you like that without a moment's hesitation. When you as a government agency possess that kind of power, and now we find out you work for Democrats and you work against Republicans, you don't need reformed. You can't exist anymore. Don't miss Jesse Kelly Breaks History, The Forgotten Genocide, the first episode of a new series available now exclusively for First TV supporters. Visit the First TV app or thefirsttv.com to subscribe and start watching today.